we're working with this model also, and this model has a lot of information on it. You can see the cross-section of the kidney itself. And I'm going to pick this up. And uh, you can see also this lighter color. All right, this is the cortex of the kidney. And the darker color is the medulla. Now, there are several structures. So this is the renal artery, the renal vein. You can see that. Um, in the medulla, you have these wonderful renal pyramids. And remember, you're looking two-dimensionally, but these are actually cones at the top or bottom, depending on how you're looking at it, of the pyramid. You have something called the renal papillae or pillar. So what occurs is that the urine is going to be actually just released into the minor calyx or calyces, where you have several of them. Minor calyx or calyces, where you have more than one. Where these come together, so for instance, in this area, in this area, in this area, you have the major calyx or calyces, depending on how many you're pointing to. The major calyx, calyces, are going to dump into the renal pelvis, which you can't really see, but you have to know is right under here, prior to the going into the ureter. So this is the ureter right here. You have other structures that you need to know, okay? You can see in um, sort of miniature that which is going to happen over here. Uh, where we're, we're going to look at the functional unit here of the, the nephron. You can see the tiny, tiny little renal corpuscles here. But in addition, one of the things you also notice on this model is how the, the tissue, the kind of tissue that you see here in the cortex, pushes down between the pyramids. These are called the renal columns. And, and so between each of the pyramids, you would have renal columns also. Now, if we move over to this area, you have the functional unit or nephron for the, uh, for the organ. And the nephron, the parts of it are here on, on the board. And, um, they're comprised of the renal corpuscle, so these round balls that you saw tiny over here. So the renal corpuscle. And then one of the things you'll notice is you'll notice that this renal corpuscle has uh, a convoluted structure coming out of it. That's actually this. This is the proximal, proximal close to, proximal convoluted tubule. And you see that after the proximal convoluted tubule, you go down and up. That's the loop of Henle, which is going down into the actual medulla. Okay? It comes back up, and this is the distal convoluted tubule. And we'll look over here and see how important it is that it comes that close to the renal corpuscle. And then the urine is going to flow into the collecting ducts which then go down, and this part is the renal papillae, and so the urine is going to be dumped into the minor calyx. Okay, so now moving to the last structure here, this is the renal corpuscle. And the renal corpuscle has several structures that you need to know. One, the afferent arteriole, the efferent arteriole. So blood is entering this renal corpuscle by way of the afferent arteriole going into this knot of capillaries. These are fenestrated capillaries that are covered by these little white guys. So this side is only trying to show you that, that the podocytes are here. They're not, it's not covering this side, not because it doesn't, because it does. Okay, these cover everything, the podocytes cover everything, but just so you can see that there are fenestrated capillaries here. And so when 
the ur when the blood goes into the glomerulus, so this is the glomerulus, not the whole thing, which is uh, one of the one of the things that sometimes happens is that students think that the corpuscle is the glomerulus. This is the glomerulus, just this, okay? Um, on the outside of the renal corpuscle, you have Bowman's capsule, okay? Or it's also called the renal capsule, but in, in my mind, it's easier to call it Bowman's only because the whole thing is called the renal corpuscle, and, and it's kind of the same. So here you have the um, proximal convoluted tubule. This is the distal convoluted tubule, and I want you to notice something. Do you see how this afferent arteriole is cut? It's cut in order for you to understand that the cells that actually make up the uh, arteriole are modified as well as the cells of the distal convoluted tubule. They must come together because they make up a very important structure for the kidney called the juxtaglomerular apparatus. Um, and we'll go over the reasons that these are important. And actually, these cells are named differently than these cells. And so we'll go into that as, as we go into lecture on, on the urinary system. Okay? 